Okay, so you guys have been infected with this GoPhoto.it, or the website is uh, search.gophoto.it. <clears throat> it's basically a browser hijacker, and I'm going to show you how to get rid of it manually. You don't have to go to the registry. You don't have to download anything, and uh, I'm going to show you how to do it on Google Chrome, and then Internet Explorer, and then Mozilla Firefox. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with Google Chrome, but first thing is first, we have to go and remove this program out of the control panel. Um, it doesn't matter what um, browser you're using. So first thing we need to do is go into control panel. <clears throat> now the thing is, for some of you, it may not be in the control panel. It could be something as simple as just as an extension. But anyways, just follow my steps here, okay? So open up uh, Add Remove Programs or... Um, Uninstall program, and this is the thing we're going to be looking for, okay? Because these browser hijackers, I mean, I guess they got a little bit smarter, but they become so prevalent. Uh, if you go to CNET.com and you download any kind of free software, it's always going to be bundled now with all this uh, these, these browser hijackers. Anyways, you want to go into the control panel. You want to uninstall. Obviously, if you have a Go Photo in there a program called GoPhoto you want to uninstall it anything to do with the word can do it uninstall it anything to word with the word save or protect or search or search can do it or search go photo any of that junk get rid of it guys it's freaking it's junk once you do that now the thing is some of you may not have to some of you may not have any of this in there if you don't that's fine it, it may be as simple as disabling disabling it in the extensions anyways okay so once you uninstall it if you have it in your if, if it's in your add remove programs what uh, next thing you want to do is you want to open up um, Google Chrome and in the top right hand corner click on this we want to go down to settings and there's three places we're going to look on here under startup click here set pages if it doesn't belong in here Highlight it, click the X. Next part, under Appearance, where it says Show Home button, click on Change down here. Doesn't belong in here, highlight it, click the X. Now the next one is under Search here. It says Manage Search Engines, click on there. If it doesn't belong in here, any of this junk, highlight it, click the X. Don't forget, it could be down here as well. Highlight it, click the X. And the last thing you want to do is you want to reset uh, Google Chrome. So on the same page here, I'm going to scroll well, all the way in the bottom here, in the very bottom here, where it says Show Advanced Settings. Click on that. And then we're going to scroll down more, go all the way down. And it says uh, Reset Browser Settings. You want to go forth and you want to reset your browser. But take note, when you reset it, your browser, any browser you reset, it's going to reset it. You're going to lose your favorites. You're going to lose. It's going to delete all your browsing history. It's pretty much going to be like a new install of the um, of, of that particular uh, browser. So once you reset it, close and reopen. And there you go. You should be good to go. Now let's move on to Internet Explorer. Okay, open up Internet Explorer. In the top right hand corner, you see like a wrench. Or it might be a three-bar prong depending on your version of Windows or your version of IE. Click on Manage Add-ons. And from here, under Toolbars and Extensions, if it doesn't belong in here, you want to highlight it and you want to disable it. Click under Search Providers. Anything here doesn't belong, you want to highlight it and you want to disable it. Next thing, go back to the top right-hand corner and click on the wrench. Let's go all the way down to Internet Options. Obviously here, let's make sure your home page is set to the home page that you want it. Now, go ahead and click on Advanced, and from here we're going to Reset IE. Okay. Now, don't forget, when you reset it, you're going to lose your favorites, you're going to lose your history, everything. Again, so once you reset it, close and reopen uh, Internet Explorer, and you guys should be good to go. Now let's move on to Mozilla Firefox. Okay, once you have Mozilla Firefox open, top left-hand corner now, you want to click on that little Firefox orange symbol, then you want to click on Add-ons, and then it's already highlighted, it's already on extensions. If it doesn't belong in here, disable it. Next spot, you want to look under 
plugins. Any stuff in here doesn't belong here, or even if you're not familiar with it, just deactivate it, okay? Now, next thing we need to do, back onto the top left-hand corner, click on that. We'll go to options, click on options here. And then from here, make sure, uh, click on general, make sure your home page is set to the home page that you want it on. Now the last thing we need to do is you need to open up, basically, you need to um, go into your search, you need to manage your search engine. So click on like, uh, open up like a tab, and then you should see like, uh, this like your, your search bar here, mine's Google, click on the down arrow, and it, all the way down it says manage search engines. Click on that, anything that doesn't belong in here guys, just go ahead and highlight it and remove it. Then once you remove all that, you want to reset Firefox, top left hand corner, click that again, and this time you want to go down to where it says help, and then we're going to go down to uh, troubleshooting information. As soon as you're on troubleshooting information, on the right hand side it says reset Firefox. Go ahead and reset that bad boy. Now don't forget, if you reset a browser, you're going to lose all of your favorites. All your bookmarks are going to be gone. All your browsing history is going to disappear forever. So be wary of that. Once you click on reset and follow through with the prompts, close and reopen Firefox and you guys should be good to go. If you're not good to go, it's because it's a different name in the control panel, most likely. And if you just comment on the comment section, and I'll help you guys out as much as I can. Thanks, and have a good day. Bye.